Hello there, I'm here and I'm back with some more computer crafts and today I will be updating you on IMFOS which is my own operating system for advanced computers. So, let's have a look. So, you'll see the desktop is pretty much the same. Uh, but there are three major different, four major differences actually, which I will cover one by one. So, but before I actually commence, let me say I am sorry because um, since last time I haven't, well, last video was probably two weeks ago, something like that. And I didn't post anything because I had this little problem, which is I actually, by accident, deleted my OS, which is the core of the program. Luckily enough, it's just the core. It uh, pretty much does what well, pretty much links all the files of the program. But still, it was a bit annoying. It took me a couple of days to actually fix the thing, but uh, here I am, and it actually helped me um, get proper architecture in the f in the program in the end. So it was kind of a good thing I deleted the file in the end. But yeah, uh, update number one. I finished my files pretty much. So first difference in my files, directory is now appearing green. You can create new files, create new directories, delete files and directories, and that's all. So let's actually create a new directory, call it, oh, let's be very original and call it di dir as in directory. Let's open directory and create a new file and we will call it file because we are incredibly incredibly original let's save exit and uh, we can uh, edit execute whatever you want uh, with a file so that's cool and uh, we can also delete the file opening this little window which is the second update there are some little pop-up windows which can appear so let's call it you can say yes or no if you say no it won't delete the file if you say yes it will delete the file so let's go to previous directory and delete dir and it will be removed from the list. So yeah, that's cool. I might add also another button later on to actually create new images because like I said in version 2.0 there would be probably some background images. So uh, that's still an idea so we'll have to see anyway. Uh, so that's all for my files and Let's go to update number 3 because update number 2 is the little pop-up messages. I made the settings. So you can set the username, the password. Safe mode is basically at the beginning of the program it will ask the password or not, whether it's activated or not. And you can save the settings of course. So the good thing is that settings are saved in a file. Or oh, maybe it's a bad thing, who knows. So uh, let's set the um, password, well the username to Tom and deactivate safe mode. Saving the settings, no pop on message, close thing and reboot. And the settings all say Tom, that's all that's cool. And if I go to IMF, saving the settings and rebooting, we will see that it is back to IMF. So let's now set a password. How about pass, very original. And activate safe mode because otherwise it will not do anything. Let's save the thing. Setting is saved. Awesome, and let's reboot. So you'll see there, we do not go directly to the um, desktop, we go to this little password thing. So if you cancel it, we'll shut the computer down, and if you actually submit a password, so let's do a wrong one for the sake of the experiment, we submit, it will say password incorrect, let's type pass, and we submit, it will say password correct, awesome, we get to the desktop. So those are all the updates I made since last time, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, that was really cool because I like when my customers are satisfied. And if you have any suggestions, comments or any random thoughts, let me know in the comment section because I am always interested in your thoughts. If you have a rather private comment, let me know in the, well, PM me, private message me, for those who do not understand. And um, yeah, I think this is going to be the end, so I'll be saying goodbye and see you next time, so goodbye.